because of this they've sort of gained a bit of an anxiety or shyness around others and honestly that's relatable we don't like rejection and once we've been rejected by something we tend to not you know we generally speaking tend to not try to get rejected again <laughs> there are a few brave souls out there who continue to uh, face rejection just head on self-pity and I don't necessarily think they expected my answer was they said oh maybe it's just something wrong with me maybe I'm the bad guy and that's why people don't talk to me and I said you know that's actually kind of a good thing to think about <laughs> and I think initially they were shocked or like a little bit frustrated because they obviously expected sympathy when I said that and I don't Personally, 
was it right the way they treated Hermione? No. But did she kind of like mellow out after a while? Yeah. And more people started liking her and stuff like that. Did she ever change the fact that she was right? Did she ever change the fact that she was studious and believed in books and reason? No. But did she stop like trying to rub it in everyone's face that she's basically better than
just stupid and he's like no 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 he's like no no you're so smart but like a different kind of smart I'm just like oh my god so yeah that's the kind of smart people that were at the school and the thing is my boyfriend at that time he wasn't even near the top he wasn't even close to valedictorian like he was like dead middle of smart kids like yeah and he, it was so that's the kind of environment that I was in like people were shaming other people for studying more because they didn't have to study as much and the thing is we grow up in this world where these like John Hughes movies these 80s movies 90s movies these teen comedies always have the popular bully who's like stupid and it's always against the really smart nice nerd kid who the school is just mean to because they're smart and that is a hundred percent not what happened um, at my school like you know the whole reason that nerd or that loser is able to keep their self-esteem is because they know they're smarter they know that they'll have a better future but for me what am I supposed to do when my bullies are smarter than me they are going to Harvard they are going to Yale and not because and not because of daddy's money but because they actually earned it what are you supposed to do then and that is when I learned an incredibly important lesson that I'm not really sure how many people <laughs> appreciate me saying is sometimes in life your best just isn't good enough and that's okay and that was it for me is that like in terms of academia my best was not good enough it will never be as good as some of those other people but does that mean that I can't be happy does that mean I can't be successful. Does that mean I can't have as much money as they do? No. I'll just have to do it in a different way. I can't do it the same way that they do. I can't just naturally roll out of bed, smoke a joint, and like pass my AP exam. That actually happened. So many kids would like just go and smoke and they wouldn't even like study and they'd get like fives on the AP exam. Five is the highest score you can get. And so, yeah. It's actually a really freeing realization, or it was for me, that sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just will not be good enough. And that's okay. I will never be an Olympic sprinter. No matter how much I train, I will never really have a perfect 5.0 GPA in whatever I study. But all that matters to me is that I know that I tried my absolute best and I learned something. That's the important part. Is that you don't necessarily have to be good as everyone else. You just have to be happy with what you accomplished and what you did. Will this channel ever be as big as GB ASMR? Probably not. Gentle whispering, no. Nothing like that. And that's okay. I'm lucky.
respect. 